Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to install the Elemental X kernel on your Google Nexus 6B. It's pretty simple actually, so of course um, you have to have root access on your phone, make sure you have root access on your phone, make sure you have a custom recovery install, otherwise you can't you cannot install this kernel. So, um, to download this kernel, of course, the link is uh, down below in the description box. So go ahead and download it first of all. Uh, you can do it directly on your phone, that's a lot more easier. Uh, you can download it using the Google Chrome browser. Um, so, or you can download it on your PC or laptop or your on your Windows device then you can copy it to your phone um, you know whatever way you like so after downloading and copying you have to turn off your phone of course I'm gonna make a separate video for its uh, um, review you can also check that out on my channel so uh, you have to go into your uh, recovery mode by holding down the power and the volume down key at the same time until you are here so we got recovery mode just hit power key I mean it's definitely nice to have a custom kernel on uh, you know on like stock ROM because you get like more features like double tap to wake and all that cool stuff and also you can overclock your phone with this kernel it's pretty nice so you can see here first of all um, we got uh, this is how the it's a uh, uh, TWRP recovery for Nexus 6P looks like so first of all you don't have to do any um, factory reset or anything like that just go ahead and click on install and go to the place where you have downloaded the ROM so if you download the not the ROM the kernel if you have, if you download the kernel directly on your phone then it will be in this directory okay internal memory SD card then download and you can see this is the latest version Elemental X and X is 61.0.3 that's the latest version and also I'm just gonna quickly hit oops quickly hit swipe to confirm flash when you swipe to confirm flash it opens up this nice um, UI or you can call it aroma installer uh, you can go ahead and select next agree to these terms and conditions um, do not flash this over custom kernels being sure that you have either a previous version of Elemental X kernel so uh, what this is say uh, this is saying here is that uh, uh, make sure that you don't uh, that you are not using any custom kernel okay uh, Make sure you have stock kernel. If you have, if you are on stock ROM, good to go. If you are on Cyanide Mod 13, good to go. But do not flash it over any custom kernel. Okay. So I'm just gonna click OK because I'm currently on stock. So it says maximum A53 CPU frequency. Um, now you can set up the max maximum uh, frequency for the lower um course i think it's a53 are the lower lower course and then we have a57 course so uh, the stock value is 1.5 gigahertz so if you want to uh, conserve more battery you can have these options or you can get if you want to have like mass maximum performance you can select 1.7 gigahertz so i'm just going to have 1.6 gigahertz here um, then also we have maximum A57 CPU frequency, which is the the performance performance cores we have. So you can set it up to 1.1.9 uh, gigahertz stock, or you can have it all the way up to 2.5. I know it's not 2.5; it's around like 2 gigahertz something. So I'm just gonna set it on that value. We have the I/O scheduler, scheduler whatever. Um, I'm just gonna have it set on default. Then we have red uh, read ahead buffer size. I'm just gonna leave it on the stock. And then also we have these wake up gestures. Now, of course, if you have the fingerprint sensor enabled, you don't really need the wake up gest gesture. I mean, yeah, it's nice to check out the notification without unlocking the phone, you know, to wake up the screen. Uh, but uh, most of the time you don't really need it, but it's there. So the, the gesture that you need the most is double tap but you can you know select all these if you want to like swipe down to open camera and all that so I'm just gonna hit and select all of these gestures here then it says sweep across navigation bar to put the phone to sleep now that's pretty nice that's 
really convenient so sweep left if you swipe left on your navigation bar your phone will be in uh, you know sleep mode lock screen mode so click next and I'm just gonna uh, you can disable F sync if you want to I'm just gonna leave it there next it says install element X and I'm installing it now so yeah finish and now you have a Elemental X kernel install and uh, when you first boot up if uh, if anything happens with your camera like if camera force closes or if you open up camera you know and if any funny thing happens on your phone just wipe just uh, you know wipe this thing here wipe cache then everything will be fine you know I personally haven't seen any problem with this kernel It's very smooth they have very nice response from the audience here for this kernel one of the most best kernels available for the Nexus 6b I think it's also available for like Nexus 5x but I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna find some time to make that video for you guys for the Nexus 5x and um, and yeah it's a nice kernel I installed it I was using it and you know getting a lot of good battery life out of it so like always there will be a review I will put the link down below in the description box for that one so let's just wait for our device to boot up it will boot up without any problem so I mean definitely if you want some new features um, uh, some new useful features on stock uh, Android then definitely stock rooted Android then you can get the um, this kernel here so I'm just gonna first unlock my device here put up my pin cord and you can see here first of all of course just loading up the widgets and all that I'm just gonna lower the brightness a little bit so you don't get any application with this kernel remember that if you want to get the elemental kernel app you need to buy it from the Play Store it costs around I think I think maybe I, I don't remember it's like 200 rupees which is you know I think it's like close to one dollar I can't remember but I bought it long time ago and I do have it on my Nexus 6B but it's, it's working absolutely fine so I'm just gonna go into about phone section and you can see uh, yeah it's called as EX kernel manager you can see this is the bill number of course and kernel version elemental X Nexus 6 speeds installed so yeah um, camera you can see camera is working fine no performance issues whatsoever so definitely um, uh, at the moment if you want to install Sanjama 13 base ROMs you can install them I installed them and I, I was using them I downloaded some themes but uh, I was ha I was having some issues sometimes gallery force closed uh, uh, force closing happens with the gallery sometimes camera was crashing so that's why I need to switch to some other ROMs that were not based on CM13 there are some ROMs like project um, Wi-Fi I think like no project Wi-Fi no it's like project Nexus ROM Chroma ROM those are nice ROMs I'm gonna take a look at those ROMs also but currently my um, setup for the Nexus 6 is that I'm using it on the stock ROM rooted with Elemental X kernel and uh, and as always make a backup first so that you can go ahead and go back to that your to go back to your backup and install any other cool kernel that is out there so make sure you also make a backup so that you can install other kernels also so yeah uh, if you have an Nexus 6B definitely check this kernel out and uh, see the performance and if you guys enjoyed this video please like it please check out my channel for the review where I will talk about this EX kernel manager app and of course give you my thoughts on this kernel whether to install it or not and uh, that will definitely going to help you to choose whether you want to install it or not so yeah catch you guys in the next one peace out